my gems, where they go? All I wanted to do was pull for prune juice cookie. And look at this, Dev Sisters. Where are all my gems at? Dev Sisters, you'll rue the day you took all my gems from me. You deserve to give us more gems, and I don't have enough, so give me more now. Ha 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 ha. Did I hear someone complaining about gems and Dev Sisters didn't give enough? Well, I'll have you know they give plenty of gems. I mean, come on, just look at mine. I mean, you're a king. I expect you to have a lot of gems. You probably paid for all those gems. You're probably a, a stinky whale. How do you think I became the king? I didn't spend a single dime to get these gems. Now you, on the other hand, it seems like you've spent money and you still have no gems. How did you get that many gems? Well, yes, I can tell you how to get those gems, but it requires one thing from me. You must compete in all of my arena battles. You must fight in the gladiators arena against every single person I put you against in the gladiators arena. Would you be willing to do that for the tips on the gems? Well, honestly, that doesn't sound too bad to me. I guess we have a deal. Well, all right, then let me give you the first tip, your guild. Your guild is probably the number one way for you to get gems. How much damage are you doing on the guild boss and how good is your guild? Well, my guild actually is so cool because it has like three people in it and I do the most damage to all of the guild bosses. I do at least four million damage to the Living Abyss boss. So, ha, huh, yep, that's not a tip. You lied to me. I'm doing massive damage on the guild boss and I'm not getting any gems from it. You think four million damage is a lot? You have to leave that guild and join a better guild. You're probably what? In chocolate three for your guild rating, you're probably not getting any gems per month from that. Me on the other hand, I'm doing at least a hundred million plus damage on every single boss in this game. And as of right now, I'm getting around 25,000 gems a month just from guild battles alone. So if you wish to truly improve your gem count, leave your stinky copium guild that you're in right now and join a new guild. Because this guild that you're in right now ain't it, chief. But I like my guild. I don't want to leave my guild members. I do the most damage in my guild right now. Well, you've already taken me up on my offer to fight in the arena, so regardless if you take my tips or not, you're going to fight in my arena. So I suggest you join a new guild. Take my advice and get more gems for yourself. Because you might need them in the days that come when you're fighting in my arena. Okay, I guess I'll have to leave my guild members. Let me tell them goodbye really quick. Bye other two members that haven't logged on in a year. It was nice being in a guild with you guys. And I know that I got leadership. You guys saw the leadership in me, so you gave me that leadership. I appreciate that. So farewell for me, but a new beginning for you. So thank you for everything you've done. Bye-bye. <laughs> I left them. Now I gotta find a new guild. Very well, let's hop into the second way now you'll be getting gems in the Cookie Run Kingdom. And that's going to be what I love most, fighting in the arena. Fighting in the arena is the second best way to get gems in Cookie Run Kingdom. This method, in fact, is so good, I get around 15,000 gems per month. And on top of that 15,000 you get from Masters 5, you also get 4,700 from the tier rewards. You're getting 15,000 gems in the cookie arena? How? You must be in Masters or something. I'm in Grandmasters. I'm scaling this down all the way to Masters 5 just for you. I can't get to Masters 5. I can never get to Masters 5. Well, despite what many may think, getting to Masters 5 is extremely easy. All you need is 2,000 trophies. There's no percentages that are messed with here. And especially with the huge trophy inflation going around right now in the kingdom. This is especially easy to get now. All you need is a great team by checking out one of these videos here. And if you use just about any team and your level's pretty good, you can make it to Masters 5, trust me. All right, so use the teams and get to Masters 5. I think I can do that. I'll take notes on that one. But when are you gonna have me fighting in the arena? Well, I wouldn't worry about that just yet. We'll talk about that after I'm done giving you these tips out. So make sure you're doing your arena and getting to at least Masters 5 because it's not that difficult to do. You're telling me with just these two tips right now, I could get over 40,000 gems? There's no way you could possibly have more tips at your disposal. Well, I in fact do have more tips, but first, make sure if you're watching this video to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to push 1,000 subscribers. That's the goal. 1,000 subscribers, so help us hit that goal. Only 5% of you guys are subscribed, and the king will get very angry if you don't subscribe to the channel. So make sure you do. But let me tell you about something else you can do. The Cookie Alliance. Now, this Cookie Alliance give you a plethora of gems if you play it correctly and also the story mode too which i know you haven't completed yet you may think you're late game and the story is just against you but trust me it's not they've dumbed it down a lot since the beginning of this game when i started playing this game and i will incentivize you with how many gems you can actually get in the story so just listen to this here on average you can get around 7,500 gems a month by using a one team team to beat alliance just to get into masters and on top of that, if you're already in a guild that's giving you 25,000 gems per month, 
month, you'll also be getting around 3,200 gems from them per season of Alliance. So that's also a great way of getting gems in the Cookie Run Kingdom. I mean, I guess that is like an extra 10,000 gems that I could use to summon. Maybe I could have got a prune juice cookie with that. But the story, the story is against me and you know it. The story is super hard. I can't beat it. And, and honestly, it only gives me a couple hundred gems per story stage that I beat. So it couldn't possibly give me that many gems. Well, as I said before, the story is not against you. And if you complete this story, you'll be getting over 96,000 gems. And that's just on the story alone. We're not including dark mode or master mode, which gives you even more gems to play around with. So you best stop thinking this story is against you and get on the grind of beating the story missions because it does give you a lot of gems. 96,000 gems? Are you kidding me? Ha, ha, whoo, I can't even breathe. I'm going right to the stories now. No, 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 you're not going anywhere because I still have to tell you the rest of my tips to get the rest of my gems and you have to do my arena for me. So no, you will not go do the story right now. But after this video, you can. So let me give you the next few tips that has to do with your dingy kingdom that you can't even seem to upgrade. Well, that's because I don't have any gold to upgrade my kingdom with. My kingdom wouldn't look dingy like this if I actually had the gold or resources to upgrade my kingdom. And I think it's pretty shady of you, a king, to be telling me how to upgrade my kingdom, seeing as how many millions of gold you have. Well, looky for you, one of the reasons I became king is because I made this video right here on how to get gold for your kingdom. So maybe you should watch that to figure out how to get gold to upgrade your kingdom. But let me just tell you how many gems per month your kingdom can passively get you. Firstly, the Soda Islands. You know the tropical Soda Islands that you so desperately don't want to rerun to keep those islands up and let the bandits take back over? Well, yes, from that you can get around 1,000 gems per month. And no, don't make that face before you say anything. Also, your Tree of Wishes can get you around 5,200 gems per month. This is just by trading in your resources and filling out the tree every single day. It's not that hard. It's only like 45 wishes, plus there's 2x wishes now, which make it even easier to get your gems. Now you can ask questions if you want, instead of making that future face before I was done talking to you. You know what? Thanks for the tip. I will do that whenever I have the gold to. And maybe I'll take a look at your stupid little video about gold. And maybe it'll help me. I don't know. Holy shit, after watching that video, I'm so rich now. Woo, baby. Thank you, King, for giving me gold. Oh, yes, sirree. And also, one more thing I should mention. If you're doing your weekly events that the game gives you, you can easily, and I mean easily, get around 3,000 gems in the game per month. Now, if we add all of these gems up, how many gems do you think you're getting per month? Probably like 50,000 gems, maybe? I don't know. No, you're getting actually over 64,000 gems per month just by doing these simple tasks. And keep in mind, these can go up with the higher guilds that you're in, the more arena battles that you're doing, the higher you're pushing up your account. To get these gems, you don't need to whale. So keep that in mind next time you say, Dev Sisters give me more gems because they give us a good amount of gems right now. Maybe not as much as they did before. And also, we're not adding any compensation gems or any event gems or anything like that. We're adding in just the bare bone gems that you get from the game. You know what? I'll listen to you. Thank you for your tips. And it's time for me to go to the arena and fight. Who's my first opponent? Well, I'm glad you asked who your first opponent will be. But we'll save that for another video when he teaches you how to make an arena team in Cookie Run Kingdom. But until then, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can get this video when it comes out. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Hope everyone has a stupendous day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.